came here for the propane today. This place is dirt cheap. 12 bucks for one of these. Last weekend though, $9 for a 20 pound tank. And then they let you pre-buy too. So why not just go in and buy 10 tank fills? Mint. There's multiple campsites along this road and that's what I'm looking for today. Just a place where we can pull off, do some dispersed camping. Maybe tomorrow we'll get out and see if we can't find some trails. Thankfully, rifle season is over here in Minnesota. Muzzle loader season opens now, but it's not as popular as rifle. I've been in this state forest before, but never this part of the state forest. So I have no idea what to expect. Another camping spot. Get out and uh, see what this says. It's really neat though, they've got a picnic table and a dugout fire pit. I think maybe what I'll do is take a look at my phone, see if there's any lakes that this trail goes by, and who knows, maybe we can even get set up next to a lake. Let's keep moving. This is an absolutely beautiful spot that I just rolled up onto. I don't necessarily know that it's, you know, a camping spot, but I mean, it might be ours for tonight because this is gorgeous. Well, I haven't made up my mind yet. It looks like we're kind of in the middle of a cut here, but I don't think they're actively working it. Definitely some coyote prints. little fox I'm not sure how level I could get the camper here but this could definitely be a spot this here is going to be the ATV trail so we'll stay off that maybe we'll venture down this road a little bit further you can see the whole road is nothing but ice. And that's why I'm trying to avoid these really big hills. But looks like there's some dirt on the road. It's about 15 degrees out here right now and I've got about an hour of sunlight left. So hopefully we can find something before it gets dark.
the spot. Well, this is the spot I'm looking at. The truck's not very far off the road, but it's off the road. And this is a little camping spot because there's a picnic table there. The only thing I don't like about this spot is how close it is to the road, right on that corner. If a car came flying around that corner on the ice, it could run right into the truck. It's definitely a pull-off for a campsite, but there was one just right down the road that might work a little bit better. It's getting a little bit late. We better find a spot to stay tonight and then we can get up tomorrow morning, do some exploring. Well, I think we found a spot for the night, but let's see if we're gonna get level. surprised it actually is pretty level right there I'll take it one thing we do have to do is drop the airbags because we're a little bit high in the back so I'll drop the airbags down to 5 psi that should level us out and then be good to go inside the camper get this cover off the generator because I'm sure we're gonna be using it tonight I should have took a look at the weather channel to make sure that we're not supposed to get snow. I hate to get stuck out here. Wonder if it'll start. No problem. Before I get too settled in, let's go put some supper on the grill. the furnace running for about 25 30 minutes and right now the thermostat it's up by the ceiling says 47 degrees so it's a little chilly out down by the floor I can tell my feet are really cold yet so I think I'm gonna have some supper hopefully that'll warm me up and then we'll go take a walk outside and see if we can see anything out there so it's gonna let you guys know that I do have internet service up here two bars I'm gonna run a speed test just kind of see where it's at 3.28 on the download 0.10 on the upload. Let's plug in the high boost and see if we can pick that up a little. I would say those are some pretty decent numbers. This high boost system is definitely worth it. Going from three megs download to 11, and then on the upload, I mean 0.1 to 0.4, I'm not gonna be uploading any movies here tonight, but this would be the difference between, say, FaceTiming Mandy and, and not. So I really like that high boost system. Well, supper was excellent. I figured we'd go outside for a little walk. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll hear some coyotes out there or see if we can't get them started anyways. I need to get some better flashlights though. I 
really like the idea of coming out here and doing these nighttime walks, but I need to figure out a better lighting situation. That's just way too bright. It's tempting to go walk out on the lake, but I just don't know anything about this lake. This will just kind of give you an idea of how dark it is. It's not really dark. I mean, I can see shadows and stuff. It's not quite a full moon, but really close. Something just jumped in the woods. I'm gonna try the other light, see if it's better. I think so. This makes everything a little bit brighter. I don't want to get too far away from the camper. We saw them coyote tracks earlier today. I didn't bring anything on me either. That lake is really loud tonight. It's definitely making ice. It's a really pretty sky. Oh, I should have brought gloves. My fingers are absolutely frozen right now. We're almost back. Oh, so cold. My hands are frozen right now. Completely froze right now. Times like these, I wish that shower worked. A hot shower would feel good. Instead, just load some of this on the computer, watch a little YouTube. That sounds good too. All right, I'm gonna get some work done, watch a little YouTube. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. This day is really starting to catch up with me. I'm getting tired and that bed's calling my name. So I think I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Well, 68 degrees in here, not too bad considering it's six degrees outside. But what concerns me is it's saying snow until one o'clock. I think I'll get some windows opened up and we can get the day started. Turn the furnace up a little too. I gotta go outside, get that GoPro. probably start the generator since we're out here. The furnace has been running all night long, but the batteries are still holding at 12.5. I shut the generator off around 9.30, 10 o'clock last night. We're ready to go. Fingers are getting cold. The good news is it's six degrees out which means the snow is gonna stay really light and fluffy. Makes it a lot easier to drive through. When it gets heavy and wet, that's when it can be a bear. 
I don't like that we're gonna be driving on top of an ice covered road, but we'll get out of here fine. We gotta go make some coffee now. brought the coffee pot in the house to wash it I don't know if I brought it back into the camper uh, I'll run outside and see if it's there good news I got it it's frozen Well, I've been working on this video for a couple hours now and I gotta tell you I'm watching the snow pile up out there. It's gotta be five, six inches or more. I was not prepared either. I just brought tennis shoes and my socks are gonna get soaked. It's still about 10 degrees out right now. I don't know that I'm gonna get a hike in this morning. I really think it might be wise to start looking at packing up and heading home. These logging roads, they're already a little tricky the way it is with the ice, but now if I have five, six inches of snow on top of that ice, I think it might be best if we start looking at just packing up. First, we gotta get up on the roof, take some of the snow off the slide. If I try and close that slide with the six inches of snow that we got, it's not gonna allow the slide to close all the way. So, first things first, let's get on the roof. Places always take on a different look when you get a little bit of snow. Definitely looks like Christmas. Now I get to finish putting all this away. My socks are soaking wet. I'm glad I picked this up. Reminded me, I gotta put the cell booster down. Still warm. She's a little froze. Just leaving the woods.
so I lost my drone. We are going to uh, we're gonna go find it right now before we leave. Oh yeah, good times. It's right in here somewhere. Don't get stuck. Okay, I was flying through here. And then once I got here, I turned and I was flying by this tree and I came too close to that branch. So I should be right here. Bingo, just an arm sticking out. All right, let's get you home. This has got to be hands down one of the most beautiful drives that I've had yet this year. There's a lot more to come. But for now, you guys have spent a whole weekend with me. I think that's just about long enough. We'll do this again next Tuesday, but until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.